Hello friends, my name is Prakhar and I would be introducing you about some of the Microsoft tools and technologies. So in the first part, I will be telling you about .NET Framework. Now .NET Framework is basically a developmental platform that is used by many developers and many people for creating many kinds of different applications like web applications, desktop applications, silverlight applications, mobile applications and many more. The best part of .NET is that it supports CLR which is Common Language Runtime. So for example if we have got two programmers A and B and A is a pro in developing applications in Visual C++ and B is a pro in developing applications in say Visual Basic. So now they can still work together and collaborate uh, by developing a common application uh, because the .NET framework would be binding them together. So that is a basic advantage. Now over here as we can say the Wikipedia states .NET Framework as a software framework that can be installed on computers running uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Windows operating systems which includes a large library of coded solutions. So that was about the .NET Framework. Now coming to the second part which is about the Silverlight. So what is Silverlight? Silverlight started out as a web media plugin quite similar to Macromedia Shockwave or Adobe Flash but over the time it has actually grown much more powerful and now it's being used by many companies to deliver that state of the art web experience right so as you can see over here that Silverlight is a uh, cross platform and cross browser and cross device browser plugin right you now you can also visit the official Silverlight website which is silverlight.net and you can uh, actually see how many uh, websites are using this uh, technology uh, in the the real world now this vector space is actually a, a gaming arcade which is using silverlight for the uh, the interfacing and the graphics and all right so many people are using silverlight these days which includes like even uh, stock brokers or uh, uh, many companies which have very heavy media multimedia contents and even film stars <laughs> right so that was about the Silverlight thing. Now the real big deal. How to get started on the Microsoft tools and technologies. So my advice would be going through the Microsoft Virtual Labs. Now what is the Microsoft Virtual Lab? Get to it. So there, there we go. Uh, and, uh, discover about the Microsoft uh, uh, MSDN Virtual Lab simply by planting a search for it. Okay. Now Microsoft uh, Virtual Labs basically gives you an ambience uh, for developing the applications uh, quite for quite just for the learning purposes and in such an ambience you would not be consuming your own systems resources rather you would be using the internet to uh, work on the Microsoft server uh, located, located somewhere else right so for example in this tutorial I would be uh, let's say choosing uh, Visual Studio as the uh, uh, MSDN lab so I'll just click on Visual Studio now clicking on this link would actually uh, transfer take me to uh, this link which is about the Microsoft Visual Studio 2005 virtual labs and in this I would be uh, taking this virtual lab which is about building Microsoft Windows presentation foundation application using uh, Microsoft Visual Basic .NET. So once you click on this link, you would be redirected to this page, which is about uh, confirming the event of uh, the virtual lab. Before that, you would also be required to sign in with the uh, uh, with the Windows Live ID. So you can do that, and once you confirm, you would be taken to the home page of the uh, virtual labs where you can actually start your lab and start doing your things now if you care this uh, like if you also observe this very carefully you also have got this lab manual which you can download and this lab manual is going to give you step by step instructions of how to go through uh, with the actual lab now this lab duration is about 180 minutes so you need to make sure that you uh, maintain your schedule and once you run off your schedule you will not be able to maintain it further down the line. So make sure to do it and that's it.
so this is the Microsoft virtual lab the ambience the actual ambience now I just need to also make sh uh, uh, sure that you realize that this screen is not being uh, utilizing my own system resources because uh, all these uh, uh, folders and all these icons are not coming from my screen from uh, not coming from my computer this is actually stored somewhere else I'm just using this through uh, the web interface right so you can actually start out your lab and start practicing now you once you're done with your uh, virtual labs you would be going through the you would you would try to go through the real thing which is about developing applications real time and on your own desktops so for that I would like to introduce you to a very uh, nice thing which is about imagine cup now imagine cup, cup is a premier student technology competition that is hosted every year by Microsoft and this competition gives you a chance in the real time to actually compete with people around the globe and uh, measure measure your competency skills now as a bonus you are also given some free access to the software that you would be requiring for building your applications in this competition so for accessing those software links you can actually click on this link which is highlighted by this red icon uh, underlined now once you click on this link you would be taken to this page which is about MSDN Academic Alliance Software Center. Now, I also need to uh, mention this that once you sign up for Imagine Cup, the next consecutive Monday you will be uh, mail your uh, user ID and password that you can use on the MSDN Academic Alliance Software Center. So, in my case, my username is my email address, that which is hyprakar at the gmail.com, and the password is something. Now, once I log in, I would be taken to this page. Now, as you can see these are all the software titles that uh, I had ordered it uh, previously which I downloaded earlier back but I was but I've still got the option to download these softwares once more now in case you need to uh, uh, order new software you can click on this link which is order new uh, software and once you click on this link you'll be taken to the page which shows all the software titles now once you are sure which title to select you can select the title from the drop down list in my case it's visual studio 2010 i guess so i'll just choose this and press the go button now I, i'm gonna add this to the card and then just sign out so the software is about 1.1 gb so just make sure that you have got enough bandwidth to uh, download the software so i think this session this entire session has been a uh, insight to you and if you like this session uh, please cast your votes and please give your feedbacks thank you so much